This is Ken Loomer and today I'm going to discuss how to put together an exciting drum solo. I've gotten so many requests and how I put together my own drum solo and so uh, my approach always is trying out new ideas. When I do a solo, especially in a big band context, which is an open type of solo which was made famous by drummers from the past and present like uh, Buddy Rich, Dave Wickle, uh, Louis Belson, Joe Morello, Sonny Payne. These drummers, what they always try to do is to uh, have something that's exciting and something that the listener will appreciate uh, what's going on throughout the entire solo. So I always try to make things interesting and like I said, I'm always trying out new ideas. I never try to do a solo with things that I worked on. So everything is pretty much spontaneous. But it must have a nice flow to it. And since I'm playing a lot of jazz music, it's got to have a swing feel to it. So I use a lot of triplets. I use a lot of dynamics. And I especially use a lot of accents. Instead of just playing straight notes like this. <laughs> jazz triplet feel. As you can hear, that has more of a musical feel to it. So if I'm going to do a solo, like I said, it's always spontaneous, whatever comes to my mind, and it has to have a nice flow to it. So here's something I'm just going to make up on the spot, and it's going to have all those ingredients. So here we go.
that should give you an idea. Everything was spontaneous, just off the top of my head. Nothing was pre-planned, and that is an example of an open type of drum solo. So I'm able to execute exactly what I'm thinking, and you gotta have some degree of technique for doing these type of open drum solos. And of course, uh, the big secret is trying to be very relaxed. You can't tense up. So once you increase the speed, which is an exciting part of the solo, you st like I start out slow with a nice swing beat, and then I start to build it up, and then with the big climax of doing uh, cymbal rolls and making sure that it has a nice flow to the solo. So that's one aspect that uh, a lot of drummers should be able to pick up if you want to do uh, this type of open drum solo, which I do all the time with my big band. But if you want to do another type of solo, which is more of the groove solo, which a lot of drummers do today, just playing a groove, and then you just do a, a few fills in between the groove, because that's more of in the rock type setting. So let me try that type of solo right now, all right? So those are two different examples. You had your open drum solo, and that's more of your groove type drum solo. So those are two different ways of doing a drum solo, making sure you have good technique. Everything has to be nice and clean. You know, once you have your technique down, because everything I'm playing is made up of either singles or doubles. I mean, that's it. Those two rudiments are the most essential. Once you get those two down, you'll be able to execute what you're thinking of. And of course, you gotta have that uh, hand-feet coordination in order to have a nice flow to it. So I hope that works out for you. Just gave you some couple ideas on how I approach a drum solo. So if you have any questions, uh, just put it in the comments. And hopefully uh, you got some ideas from this video. Until next time, happy drumming.